Greetings, people of the internet. What follows was recorded at least two weeks ago, getting towards three. I've only just got around to assembling it. Enjoy. I think in my last video I said that I had 42 FASM releases and wondered how many quartets I'd got. I just hoiked them all off the shelves and coincidentally that's 42 as well. Let's have a look what they are. We start off with Beastmaster by Lee Holdridge. Um, the sequel Beastmaster 2 which is a very different thing by a very different composer is what I picked up very recently but I've had this one for a while. Secondly, this was a, a recent release, it was 2018, so not that recent. Um, Bernard Herman though, The Bride Wore Black. Uh, eight of these I bought very recently in their July 2022 sale, which was 30% off and free shipping if you or eight or more, which I did. So that was one of them, it's Bridge Too Far by John Addison. That was two discs, the first being a kind of full expanded score and the second being a, a, a version of the original release. Um, another one from that recent um, purchase was Bring Me There to Alfredo Garcia, Cherry Fielding. Uh, one I've had a little longer though, which wasn't part of that order, was the original Casino Royale, Bert Bacharach. Herb Alpert and the two on a brass ba da ba 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 Part of the recent order was Cross of Iron, and it's gold. Sam Peckin Bar, um, as was Alfredo Garcia, so two Sam Peckinpah movies. Um, quartet being based in Spain, I think. Uh, they do do a lot of stuff with European composers who are possibly not so well known to us Brits and even less so to our American friends. Um, so there are a few of those in this collection, like for example Les Deux Amis by Philippe Sald. Uh, I knew nothing about the film. I think I still know nothing about the film. But Philippe Sales is a very good composer. Um, and so he's worth checking out anything. Um, Shortish, but good fun in a kind of jazzy sort of way. Uh, George Fenton's uh, latest, The Duke. That was part of the July um, offer. Uh, and going along with The Bride War Black, we also have Endless Night, which is another... Bernard Herrmann classic. Uh, we have a seat amongst the sorry the, the booklets in the wonky here. I'm just going to turn it around until I get it straight. Um, talking about uh, European composers, Bruno Nicolai. Uh, who, uh, some people know only as the kind of conductor for Ennio Morricone, but he's a very good composer in his own right. And this is a double disc version of Femine Insatiabili, which my guess would be Insatiable Women. Gosh. Uh, then we have a compilation, film music of Mario Nascimbeni. Uh, you can see that's four films, titles of those are all in Italian, so, well I suppose Commando it isn't, but uh, yeah, make of those what you will. Uh, and this one I think was on sale, we'll see, yeah, uh, cheesy kind of thing really, fin de semana al desnudo, what is that? Is that Spanish? It's Anton Garcia Abril, I would imagine it's Spanish. That cost me 45 cents. It's a bit of fun. Uh, 
more Philippe Sauve ghost story. Bump. Uh, slide those along there. This is a shortish one, but it's got a really fun main theme, uh, March theme, is uh, the Great Waldo Pepper to Henry Mancini. A bit of whistling catch me on the copyright? Probably not. Um, female composers, anybody? Nora Orlandi, Il Diario Proibito di Fanny. I think you can have Fanny's Secret Diary, I guess. That'd be my um, cheapo translation of that. Uh, female composers, we have Anne Catherine Dern, Jade Pendants. This is a bit more up to date. Uh, and Catherine Dern has got a very good uh, YouTube channel where she kind of talks about secrets of composition and uh, and techniques and things. It's, if you're into writing your own music, that's it's well worth a follow. Um, biblical epics, King David, Carl Davis. Uh, very good composer, and he does a lot of stuff for. Um, reconstructed scores for old silent films and things. I wish he had more opportunity to do big mainstream new movies, but there we are. Uh, Double Disc Jacob's Ladder, that was part of July's um, uh, sale. Quite disturbing film, quite disturbing music. Uh, Goldsmith's King Solomon's Mines. This was obviously uh, it was the studio who released that. I have a horrible feeling it was it was Canon with Golden and Globus. Was it? Was it? I don't know. Ba, 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 ba. Yes, it was. It was a Canon film. <laughs> I can laugh. I used to work for Canon. Um, yeah. So that's Goldsmith getting us some sort of an opportunity to do uh, an Indiana Jones-esque. Then we have Lady Jane by Stephen Oliver. Um, not a well-known name in the film music world. Apparently he was a well-known name in the theatre music world. And this was his first foray into film music. And then the poor chap died young, so it was his only foray into film music, but it's a very good score. Uh, I think Birdman's recently bought a copy of that. I've had it a while. Uh, Lancaster Skies by James Griffiths. Uh, I think I bought that fairly cheap, but it's definitely worth... Definitely worth $6, which is what I paid for that. Um, yeah. Quite nice. Ah, John Williams, The Long Goodbye, uh, which I've mentioned before is mostly variations on the one song because that's what the director asked them to do. This is the one that Birdman's had very recently and struggled with the composer's name, Fernando Belazquez. Ah, uh, A classic, a David Lean classic, and therefore Maurice Shaw. It's Passage to India. This one I bought up fairly recently, uh, before the the sale. Maybe I would have got it cheaper if I waited for the sale. I don't know. Uh, Thirty dollars. Um, but that's fine because it's three discs. And that's the Pink Panther Final Chapters Collection. So all the tail end of the series. Trail of, Curse of, Son of. Of course, Son of was uh, Roberto Benigni instead of um, Peter Sellers. Private Life of Sherlock Holmes. That great, great Miklos Roja 
Um, I did already have, where is it? I did already have the Tadlow version. Uh, but I think, the, yeah, the Tadlow version was a re recording with the City of Prague um, under Nick Rain. Um, but this is the original. And there's two discs of that, which include both the score itself and the violin concerto that it was based on. Uh, Yasha Heifetz. Yeah, I've got a very good disc with Heifetz doing the uh, Roja violin concerto and the Korngold violin concerto and Franz Waxman's Carmen Fantasy. That, if you can seek it out, I think it's on RCA Victor. Absolute masterpiece. Um, some more Philippe Salles, this Cai d'Orsay. So, you know, French films. Uh, a sequel Return of the Musketeers. This is again a French composer, Jean Claude Petit. It's very nice. Jean-Claude Petit is another um, uh, great composer. Lussard sur le toit. Um, yeah. Uh, back to female composers. We have uh, Zeltia Montes. She's Spanish. Uh, so it's Sad Hill Unearthed. Yes, that is Clint Eastwood. This is a documentary, I think, about the making of The Good, The Bad and The Ugly. I think. Big uh, three-disc set of Santa Claus the Movie by Henry Mancini. Uh, so disc one and a little bit of disc two is, is the full film score. The back end of disc two is sort of bonus tracks uh, like TV spots and adaptations of little jingles and alternates and things like that. And then disc three is the original album. That I've probably talked about recently. Uh, seconds, Jerry Goldsmith. Um, again, as I think, I think Ian Clark described this a, a disturbing film and a disturbing score. More uh, Sherlock Holmes, as I have been collecting a bit of sort of as much Sherlock Holmesy stuff as I can, and we have the Seven Percent Solution, which is John Addison, and John Addison is very good. Am I going to claim to be collecting anything by anybody who isn't very good? Am I going to hold something up and go, that's a bit crap? Probably not. Um, this was from a film that was a bit crap. Um, a low budget science fiction film. I think I'm probably about the only person who saw this in the cinema. Space Truckers. Music by Colin Towns, who I think is best known for a lot of British TV scores. Then Velázquez again is Super Lopez. Uh, yes, it's a kind of Spanish superhero parody, exactly what it looks like. Uh, and more, more Addison uh, is Swashbuckler, which is a two CD set. I'll hold that up in a moment. I'm just going to check that. Yeah, that was quite dear. That was thirty-two quid. It is a double CD, so, nah. Perhaps if I'd waited, if I'd known there was a sale. Um, yeah, anyway, Swashbuckler, John Addison. It's good, it's good, it's good. It's all good. That's part of the recent uh, sale. Um, very funky driving rhythm stuff, David Shire. An oddity from John Williams. Uh, Tom Sawyer, as you can see, uh, it's a collaboration with the Sherman Brothers, uh, and it was like a, a Reader's Digest film or something bizarre. Very odd, um, but yeah. Uh, then, 
comes after it comes after Tom Tot. There you go, Birdman. Total recall. The twenty fifth anniversary expanded edition. On two discs. It, it, yeah, I mean, I had the original, which was Verez. Um, so, yeah. That one, after Rubenstein's War Games, that was part of the July sale. I haven't got around to listening to that one yet. That will be next on the list to play back after I finish. Um, Jacob's Ladder, which I'm in the middle of. Uh, here's one that falls into the category of uh, great score shame about the movie. Is John Morris Yellow Beard? You can throw lots of great comedy actors at a film uh, and still come out the far side of it. It's, it looks like they were having an awful lot of fun, but the audience wasn't. And then we have three volumes of Shortcuts, 2018, 2019, and the very newly released, just released 2020. These are scores from short films, um, and, and a mixture of, of known and famous names uh, with new unknown names. So 2018... You've got on here, you've got Angela Badlamenti, um, you've got Anne Catherine Dern, uh, Cyril Ofor, who's perhaps not familiar to many of us, but he's to the French, Joe Kramer, um, uh, Patrick Neil Doyle, who I think might be Patrick Doyle's son, uh, and lots of other less known names, George Shaw. Did um, Way to the Rebellion, the Star Wars fan film. And 2019. And this has got, it's got some Bear McCreary and Rachel Portman and Christopher Young. So bigger names on it. Uh, Joe Kramer again. Laura Rossi. Um, yeah, and Rob Simons, amongst others. And then the new 2020, which has got... Uh, yeah, Laura Rossi again, uh, and Joe Kramer again, uh, and various other people. So those are my quartets. I think I'll knock that on the head for a bit. Uh, maybe next time, Golden Age or pre-Golden Age stuff? I've got a few pre-Golden Age scores. If the Golden Age is the 30s to the 50s, what's pre-Golden Age? Stone Age. No, that's not right. Bronze Age. FSM should have released Early Man. They could have called that a Bronze Age classic, couldn't they? Oh well. I'm back. Don't worry folks, it's me. Not Arnie. Oh, Arnie. Oh, stick my finger up his nose. <laughs> More disempackagement today. Yeah, from the the dreaded tax avoid um, 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 lovely shop online. Uh, One does not need special cutting implements when things come with tear strips. Okay, this was something that I did not possess uh, because it's by a composer that I don't generally care all that much for, but I've heard good things. Mr. Clark, you've persuaded me to buy Mad Max Fury Road, so. I hope this is a good one. Mr. Hulkenborg, Junkie XL, writes scores divisive as hell. Some say he's da bomb. 
but others think Tom sounds like drums being thrown down a well. We'll see. And then this courier tried his damnedest to stick this through my letterbox. He just about managed it, but um, yeah. This is another one um, from your suggestions, Clarky. That. Box sets galore coming out of my ears these days. It's, it's Gerhard. Now, as usual, when you get a box set, it consists partly of things you haven't got and partly things you've already got. Um, yes, as Ian said, the uh, magnificently uh, in, uh, inventive and uh, creative um, sleeve designs. What have we got? Betty Davis. I'm not going to read through these all because Ian did already. Go watch his video. I'll put a link to it down below. But um, yeah, so what's that? That's that's 12 discs. I'm going to be still playing this stuff at Christmas. Best stop recording this and go listen to some of it then, eh? I'll be back. Hasta la vista, bait. No, I'm not going to use that line because... Some idiot used that recently and has ruined it. Bye. <laughs>